What's going on, guys? My name's Cole Gonzalez, also known as Cole World on social media. So this is me here. I have around 7 million followers across all my platforms, 4 billion plus short form views, and I'm the CEO and co-founder of Aus AI. And today, I want to quickly take you through how to generate a video with Aus AI. Very simple. Let's get right into it. Starting on the create page, this is where you create your videos. The voices here, as you can see, these are 11 Labs voices. So shout out to 11 Labs. We have a startup partnership with them. So Thank you so much for everything they're doing for us. And the voices are incredible. So you can come in here, you can actually preview the voices. So let's say I want to do Diego. Making influence accessible to everyone. I like Carl, so we're going to do this one. Making influence accessible to everyone. So boom, you pick your voice. What does that really mean? Well, the voice is actually what's going to narrate the word-for-word -word script that you type, which we'll talk about scripts in just a second here. But grab your voice. Here you grab your style. As you can see, you can see your video style preview on the right side. If you're on mobile, it'll be down below. But just going here, as you can see, we get a little idea of, okay, this is what it's going to look like. A lot of people like hyperrealism. That's the most popular, but I'm going to do RPG video game. So that is the style of images that are going to be generated throughout the video because our back end basically creates contextual images that tell your story throughout the entire script that you've typed out that is read aloud by the voice. Moving on, subtitle font, simply put, this is just the font that's going to be the animated subtitle that is going to be on your screen. So we're going to go with ultra shaky here. Video pacing, simply put, this is the frequency of images that are generated throughout the video, meaning if you pick slow pace, that means you're going to have less images, right? So it's going to be slower. And then if you pick fast pace, you're going to have image, image, image. So a lot faster pace, right? And why does that matter for you? Well, I'm a content creator, as you guys know, and the pacing of your video is very important in terms of the story you're trying to tell and the delivery you're trying to have. So if you have a more sad video, you probably want to pick slow pace, not fast pace, right? Because imagine you're telling a sad story, you type out your sad script, right? And then you have a bunch of images super fast. It'll throw off the emotions you're trying to convey. It might mess up your story. So that's just one of the things that we considered when we really wanted to give you more control. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to do normal pace. Um, moving in or moving on, we have the subtitle color. Pretty straightforward. This is just the color of the subtitle, so you can pick from any of these. If you're a business or a brand, and a lot of companies have been using um, our platform, a lot of business owners, um, you just bring your hex code. You paste it in there, right, because you might have your brand colors. But for the sake of this one, we're just going to go here, yellow, script. Most important part of the entire platform and what separates Aus AI from any other AI video generation company that claims that they're creating videos for social media. We are script to video, not prompt to video. You might be wondering why is that? And if you're not in the AI space, a prompt is simply just a set of instructions that you give to an AI. So what does a prompt look like? In this instance, what we're not, but what a prompt would look like would be um, make me a video about Elon Musk eating dinner. That would be a prompt. Now, this is not what we are because if you type this in, then Carl, the voice, is going to read in the video, make me a video about Elon Musk eating dinner. So what are we? We're a script to video. So what does that look like? Let me just go here. I'm going to grab a script, just my most recent one. I'm going to paste it in. So check this out. Think you know Call of Duty. Here are three facts that will surprise you. Fact one, the heartbeat sensor in Modern Warfare 2. This is the actual text that is going to be read word for word by our voice or narrator, Carl. So Carl is going to read this word for word, and then our back end is going to generate contextual images throughout your entire story to tell that story. So with that being said, what's next? Well, one thing I didn't do there, which I recommend you guys do, is save as default. Because you can see I just went to videos and came back, and it changed my style. So I'm going to go back, and I'm going to change this up here. Boom. And then I'm going to save it as a default, right? So now if I go, and I come back, it's still going to be there. So make sure you do that. And then here's my script. And then next you just hit generate. And before I do, very important, estimated length. So we can generate videos up to around 80 to 90 seconds long, which is pretty impressive in my opinion. And the reason for that is because the models are trained for short form. So that's kind of the max. So how does the length actually work? Well, like I said, Carl is going to be reading this word for word. 
So depending on how long it takes him to read the script, that's how long the video is going to be. And that's why it's estimated. It's not exact. And then estimated credits. So 1000 credits equals one minute of video generation. So right here, I have 21.8 minutes of video generation in credits. So that's why 22 seconds, right? A um, thousand credits equals a minute of video generation, right? So that's why we're getting these estimations here. But you'll be able to see what that looks like in a second. But from here, just hit create video. Now the video is going to go into the back end. As you can see, it's processing. The credits used is calculating. We'll get that final number uh, once the video is done. And then here you can see your script. So let's say I wanted to, I, the video comes out. I post it to social media. It goes viral. And I really like that script, but I want to change one little thing. Cool. Just copy it. Go back. Paste it in. Maybe you change, you know, the hook. Maybe you change one of the facts. Maybe you just want to create another video that's basically very similar. Go for it, right? And just so you guys know, everything in the back end is AI generated. There's no stock footage. We don't have like this stockpile of assets. Everything is uniquely generated. And for anyone who's here for, you know, the TikTok creativity beta program or trying to monetize on YouTube, the videos are all uniquely generated. So you're not going to get like a copyright strike, um, which is what a lot of these other platforms are doing because they're templatizing content, which we're not doing. But coming back here, as you can see, we have all our parameters. We have the voice we use. We have the style. We have the pacing, the subtitle color. We have the font. Like I said, you have the script here. And yeah, I guess we're just going to go ahead and wait for this video to generate full transparency. Sometimes it can be as fast as 10, 12 minutes. We have a ton of traffic. We had 2000 signups a couple of days ago, and it was taking 30, 45 minutes for a video to generate. So that's always something we're working on. Um, and we're very transparent about that. And we try to really communicate with the community when we have, you know, high video generation times, we throw up a banner and let you know. Um, but I'm going to pause this and come back in five, 10 minutes and we'll look at the final video. All right, we are back. Grab my coffee and let's take a look at that video. Think you know Call of Duty? Here are three facts that'll surprise you. Fact one, the heartbeat sensor in Modern Warfare 2, inspired by the movie Aliens. Fact two, the original Call of Duty was made by just 22 people. Fact three, ever notice the teddy bears? They're an inside joke among developers. Mind blown? Think you know- And that's it. Then from there, download the video. It's gonna download if you're on mobile. It'll download to your downloads on your phone. And then go ahead. Add your music on the social media platforms. We don't add music because that's very important for the brand. We have businesses, brands, and influencers, creators that all agree that they don't want us to add music because it's going to not only hurt the engagement on your video, but it's also going to categorize everyone as having the same music. That's just not how content creation works, in my opinion. I think it's super important you guys add your own music. You make it unique to you. That's part of your brand. It's part of the familiarity that people create with your content. So everybody loves that. That's how we have it set up. And maybe you're brand new to content creation. One last thing. Well, I got good news for you. If you go to tools, you'll be able to access my entire creator course right here completely free. If you're more of a visual learner, I got even better news for you. In the description of this video, I'm going to drop a link to this playlist right here. I have an entire course here. I spent over 200 hours on this completely free for you. You don't have to use Aus AI to have access to this. It's public domain. So please use this. It's, it applies to personal brand, businesses, um, faceless content, literally everything. So hope you guys absolutely love this. It goes over everything from profile picture, uh, setting up your accounts, how to write scripts, how to choose sounds, which we just talked about how to craft viral captions, how to analyze your content, and how to repurpose content and post on other platforms. Everything's in here that you need to really crush it on social media. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And yeah, welcome to the Aussie Eye community. See ya.